Hello, I'm Seamus Dunhu. I haven't been doing a whole lot in EVE Online recently, more... well... It's been a lot of Elite Dangerous and recently some more Space Engineers. So I might as well make a video of something I've been making in Space Engineers. Uh, so this is a demonstration ship for a programmable block script that I made. This ship uses um, a grab drive. Uh, for those of you not familiar with Space Engineers, uh, it had, the game has artificial gravity blocks. That's um, these things right here. And the game also has virtual mass blocks of two kinds. Artificial masses, that's this thing tucked in here, and space balls, which this particular ship does not use. And Newton's third law is not implemented here. The gravity generators will exert a force on the virtual masses, but the virtual masses do not then exert a force equal and opposite on the gravity generators. So some ship designs will take advantage of this to create a gravity drive. Uh, I also have standard uh, thrusters on here just uh, as a backup. But anyway, uh, so I made a program, I made a script uh, that will read the inputs of a cockpit and use that to control the grav drive. Uh, I'll uplo I've uploaded both of these to the workshop already, I'll put links in the video description. But yeah, uh, make sure the programmable block in question is on, run the program, uh, with the argument being the name of the cockpit, and make sure your dampeners are off, and start flying. Uh, I'm running the profiling version of Space Engineers. You can get instructions on that from um, uh, the GitHub run by the guy called Malware previously known as Lord Devious. Oh, I'm also using the speed of light modification in this single-player world. So I can go above 100 meters per second. But yeah. I... I can use the WASD keys and C and space. Uh, and fly this ship just like I would fly a ship just with thrusters. I can even turn on inertial dampening and that'll bring me to a halt. Uh, this will not support um, relative inertial dampening to a moving target. I haven't figured that part out. Uh, but yeah. Nifty, isn't it? And just to prove... Uh, and for comparison, I'm going to shut off the grav drive and the programmable block and use the standard ion thrusters. And as you can see, the standard ion thrusters are a lot slower. Much less acceleration. So let me turn that back on, reactivate the programmable block, there we go. So yeah, works pretty well. Uh, the reason I have the profiler tr uh, turned on here <clears throat> this gets very laggy. Uh, this gets very laggy with um, a very large number of gravity generators and virtual masses. Uh, that thing over there only has 9 artificial mass and 24 gravity generators. This one's got over 100 of each. And I also have it using the center panel. Ignore the two side panels. I was doing some debugging with a different program. But yeah. Uh, so with a larger grav drive, let me turn the profiling back on. Uh, make sure this is on. Activate it. And I start thrusting. Not too bad in terms of game performance. Uh, I'm already up to 2.6 kilometers per second, but if I hit the art, uh, inertial dampening, the game lags out quite a lot. So for really large grab drives, uh, it helps to slow down manually, at least down to a more reasonable speed. And I also have the program calculate your velocity in terms of your uh, current ship rotation. Uh, so... Now, 
now all inertial damp. There it goes. And I've also displayed the runtime value, uh, which indicates how much time is consumed by the um, by this process. So runtime values below 0.2, I think, are okay. Uh, but runtimes you can see here are going over 20, uh, and that's for a particularly large grab drive. So you are going if you're on a multiplayer server, you are going to lag out the server with this thing. So just be careful about that. Uh, links are in the video description. Thank you for watching.